Ladies and gentlemen, please let me welcome you to yet another episode of Ask Ion, where you, the players, can send in your questions about this beautiful game called Ion that I will be answering on behalf of the Ion team. It's been a while since the last episode, but here we go. Before we start with the questions, though, I have one announcement to make. We're always looking for more ways to get in better touch with you guys and gals, this format being just one of those. And we came up with an idea that we want to kind of test run this year. Despite the digital virtual things we do, this one will be completely analog. So what is it about? Well, we will be hosting a community event called Ion Meet and Greet for one million dollars. Well, maybe not that much. But anyway, most of the ION team from Gameforge will be there, including the community managers that you might know very well through the forums. And I'm glad to say that NCSoft is joining as well. There will be presentations, QA sessions, probably a cosplay contest, free food and drinks, and basically everything that will ensure that you're gonna have a great time. The event will happen on the 18th of August during the Gamescom, so you can combine it with your visit there. And actually, even your visit is gonna be on us. The tickets for the meet and greet are gonna be limited to 100 million tickets. No, just kidding, it's gonna be 100 tickets because we first wanna see if there is an interest in an event like this at all. In order to get your hands on a ticket, you have to join our small raffle using the link below. To make sure that there is serious interest in a ticket, we ask you to provide us some feedback on your current view on ION and the service that we provide around it. I promise that any feedback posted there will be read by the ION team and most likely by me personally, so no effort put in there will be wasted should you get a ticket or not. And the information will not be shared publicly, so feel free to be as honest as you can. So much about that, let's start with your questions. And by the way, welcome back to the blah blah meter. If you need to be reminded how it works, check out episode 4 of Ask ION. First question comes from Lukasz Walczak and he's asking, when are there going to be paid transfers? As we already have implemented the character transfers with the server merges, we said back then that we'll offer transfers as a paid service. So far we haven't announced a date yet, but looking at our yearly planning, it seems that this third quarter of 2016 should be realistic. This is an estimate though, not a promise. Next question, Adrian Gurgi is asking, Hello guys, is it true that in 5.0 we have campaigns for level up with mythical rewards, like weapons and wings? I'm not 100% sure what this question refers to, but I think it's regarding a special server that Korea was running after their 5.0 release. It was a temporary server with a higher XP boost, and after reaching level 65, you were given mythical rewards. We're currently discussing whether we will have a system like this or maybe something else, but I think having a new server in whichever way, temporary like in Korea or permanent, would be a good thing. Next question by Poland013. I'd like to see you Nick once again in the horse mask. This was so incredible. No, it was not incredible and it's never gonna happen again ever, ever, ever. Ooh. Job well done. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Not you, you're cool. Screw you. I really hate you guys. And another question by Negota, Negoita Marianne. Any plans on implementing more languages to the game? That's a definite no. Implementing a new language would need us to translate the whole content of Ion. And with having more lines of text than all Harry Potter books combined, the translation costs are really, really high. Looking at the market potential of the other European countries, I don't see us providing another language. Next question by Valgovic. Will the glory points maybe reset in the future? It would take years for new players to reach a higher rank, like 5 star officer, and with the compensation of the last server merges, nobody would get hurt. For as long as gear is bound to the rankings, we could only do percentual reset. The ranking would stay the same, but overall the honor points would be reduced by like 80%. This would allow newer players to rise faster in the rankings since less honor points are needed for each individual rank. However, doing so would also diminish the investment other players have done, so it's a very difficult topic. I agree that a change would be nice, but we couldn't yet decide if we want to go down that road. Actually, we would be very happy for your feedback and input on this one. Please let us know your opinion in the comments below. Next question by player Revenge, which is probably revenge or something. Is there any chance of an event to win an Ion Shugo Fluffy? Well, like an in-game event? No plans for that at the moment, sorry. Uh, because running events with real-world prices is always a bit complicated as we need terms and conditions and lots of stupid legal stuff. For now, your best chance to get one is to join Catch a Shoe!
Oh no! And yet another question. Uh, this one is from player Brox. Will Gameforge consider to remake the forum? Well, indeed, yes we are! Gameforge is currently working on a portal page that will also bring a new web page, new shop and new forum to Ion as well. This will happen around the third quarter of 2016, hopefully. Next question by Burzujus. Burzujus. Any chance to move characters from NA to EU servers? If not, why? We're getting this more and more these days. I'm afraid no, there is no way of doing that. It's two different publishers and I'm sure that the North America publisher would not want to put any effort into transferring users to us. Next question comes from my special friend, player Stellari. The picnic event was a great start for a PvP-oriented event. Will we see more of that in the future? Well, definitely! Actually, we just had another PvP event running and we plan on doing so frequently in the future, improving them constantly. More questions! Pachao is asking, when will the new veteran level rewards be implemented? Well, they already have been released, so go get your stuff! And now Levo, Nick, have you seen Reborn's video? Any comment? I think the video is damn funny and I really like the effort that has been put into it. If you haven't seen the video, check it out here and give it a thumbs up. And regarding the content, for sure I can understand the annoyance of a lagging server. Um, we've taken measures to fix the issue we had back then and it seems that it's working well enough now. Next, Eric is asking, can a GM please fly up to the top of that gigantic mountain pillar in Ingeson and film slash take a screenshot of the view from there? Sure, Black Velvet from the ION team that some of you may know was kind enough to do so. The area is only partially implemented as it's not intended for anyone to get up there that close, but still it provides a really nice view. So enjoy! Next question by Kigi. What's the situation of the spectator mode being available for PvP tournaments? The spectator mode was first used in one of our live streams last year. However, it was quite buggy and we weren't even supposed to use it back then. And Seasoft only implemented this feature for internal use in supporting the game, not to be used by the players. But we would really love to support streamers and tournaments with this convenient function. These days we're looking into that and how we can grant these rights to do so to certain people and how to handle this in general. It's looking pretty well, but it's too early yet to confirm if, when and how this is going to be implemented. Next question by Xision. When does 5.0 come to the EU? That's a really good question. Let's bring up the updated timeline. We've been releasing 4.91 in April. Next up is 5.0 in August this year, followed by 5.1 somewhere within this year as well. I can't say exactly when, but it's going to happen. So this year is going to be really interesting because 5.0 is going to be the biggest update that we've had in quite some time. Next question, Elder's Bad Kid is asking, hey guys, we're gonna have 4.9.5 update, just like it happened in NA? If the answer is yes, when is it gonna happen? Well, sorry I have to disappoint, but there is no update 4.9.5. There is 4.9, 4.9.1 and 5.0. We usually keep the versions as Korea sets them. And A very often uses their own version numbers, which kind of causes some confusion usually here and there. But there is no official version 4.9.5, nor does it exist anywhere. Then another question by Beyondo25. We look forward to what you will tell us jokes this time and not solve the problem of a lot of hackers on the game. Glad you do! Next, Marcin Kozicki is asking why random players play against pre made teams in Drum Gang Bridge and Steel Wall Bastion, for example. Shouldn't it be like pre made versus pre made teams? Well, currently the system matches completely randomly, so basically every combination is possible. Benefits are that you never know who you're going to be playing against, like random or pre-made groups. And the party matching just happens much quicker. Next question by Denairat Sathiranawin. Why Gameforge cannot do the maintenance within or in the realm of 3 to 4 hours? Always more than 4 hours. But NCSoft can finish their maintenance less than 3 hours most of the time. Well, on the one hand, we still simply have way more servers than any other region, and then at the moment we're still handling the character transfers from the mergers within every maintenance, which makes it longer by about two hours on average. This will be going on for a few more weeks. It might actually already be over at the time you're watching this. And after that, our maintenances will be back to normal levels, ending somewhere like noon.
All right, that's it. That was episode six of Ask Ion. Thank you very much for sending in your questions and I hope you did get some interesting answers. I'm looking forward to seeing lots of you during our community event later this year. And for those of you who will not be able to get a ticket, we're going to do a nice little documentary that we're going to be showing in the next Ask Ion. And until then, I hope you will like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channels and register on our forums. And uh, the whole Ion team sends you a hundred billion greetings.